Today's story unfortunately doesn't have the happy ending. Instead, we got a ruthless murder of two people, actually two parents, which have been brutally killed by their own daughter. Virginia McAleod has been sentenced for 36 years in jail after she brutally killed her parents. But that's not enough, because she also lived with them for the next four years. Actually, she lived with their bodies for the next four years. Like, what's in your head when you're doing something like that? The whole story takes place in Great Battle near Helmsford in Essex, which is obviously, unfortunately, within the UK borders. Police start investigation of missing two people, uh, 70 years old John McAllow and his wife, 71 years old Louise McAllow. They started because their GP contacted police because they didn't pick up any prescription for medication, which obviously makes sense because if you are 70 and 71 years old, you are most likely, you know, visiting your GP more often than... So police yeah. went to the house where they're supposed to live and they've been confronted with daughter, Virginia McAllow, and she said her parents went for the retirement holiday to the seaside, which obviously been very weird and police start investigating that more deeper and after one week police come back to the house to investigate more further unfortunately they found two bodies so that is the video from the police essex police body cam when they raided the macalau family home where they expect to find the two bodies on the property and allegedly the suspect which possibly could kill them and this video is weird, and I'm gonna explain you why, but let, let, let's watch it. Stay where you are! Stay where you are! Stay where you are, show You know what actually amazed me? But as I said, they raided the home, they know, they possibly know that there is two dead bodies and the suspect is on the property, and they come with the teasers. They're not even coming with the guns. It's possible that she murdered her parents and she can do anything right and they still come in with the teasers that's always amazed me about the uk police actually let's get through it and uh, we'll see further down what was happening yeah. 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 Oh. the time is 12 12 you're under suspicion of murder against jonathan mccullock and Lars mccullock yeah. okay do you have to say anything but in my home defense you didn't mention we in question so i just want anything to do so okay I'm not sure if you can see the exactly same, but can you see sh how calm she is? She's like, Leah, yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, I do that, I do that. Is there anything in the pop that we should know about? Yes, there is. Can I take you to it? No. That's where the, the whole video gets weird. I'm not sure if you can see exactly the same what I've seen, but for me, when I watch this video, it seems like she's eager to tell them what's happened and what they're gonna find on the property. When he asked if there is anything on the property that we should be aware of, she's like, yes. Yes, can, can I take you to it? She's like, she's really want to tell them. You can tell me. Uh, can we go in there for a second, just so I can tell you something? Oh, what's in there? Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. Then, yeah. Tell us the only reason I said, there. I need to tell you something about what's upstairs on the top floor as well. Yes. And she's going like, yeah, can we get in there so I can tell you exactly what's in there? And they already know what's gonna happen. And then she's like, can we also go upstairs? Because there is another thing I have to tell you about. At that point, if I would be the police officer, I would be like, oh man, it's getting weird. How many bodies we gonna find in this property? What's going on actually? I would have the red flag straight away. Yeah, okay. Oh, my dad's body's in there. Right, okay. okay. Yep, okay. Um, obviously, I'll say, your mom? Um, a little bit more complicated. Can you see like when he asked her, what about your mom she's like oh, it's a bit more complicated how complicated it can be it's already fucked up how more complicated it can be how more weird this situ the situation can be from that point I, that's why i said can i go upstairs and show right, you can you explain it to us please because we're trying to preserve this it's now going to be seen so we need to preserve this the best we can so i don't want you to have you walking up there all right because it's, it's that that's for your well-being as well as ours oh no up, up, up. okay so what okay. where, where, where will we find your mum well, where will we find um, your mum okay it's um it's behind the bed but back next to the sink that's the second one and she's still explaining everything so calmly like you know it's like she's explaining where in the fridge there is a 
a fucking salmon. Like, yeah, you know, behind the behind the butter, just around the cucumbers. Go upstairs, there's a five wardrobes, and behind this wardrobe, but not the first one, just the next one, there is my ma... Slips Pilofos into his drink. And when they get to this point where actually she's standing on the front of Sammy, I think, she's like, uh, my dad's body is in there. She explained everything with this every single small detail how she done it what she done they find out that he been poisoned she prepared him three drinks and every single one of them been poisoned he only get through half of two he didn't even drink the rest the next morning she came back downstairs and she actually found her her father dead and look at her now and her comment what she gonna say to the policeman? It's getting this murder to the next level. I would say it's like, you know when you're watching something and there is about a serial killer? In your head, there is like, how he even can do that? Or how he can even say that? That's what I've got in my head when I listen to this woman. Cheer up, at least you put the bad guy. Cheer up. At least you got the bad guy. They just found their parents bodies in the property that she killed them four years ago and she lived with them for the four years and she's saying cheer up at least you got a bad guy no well i mean i deserve to obviously uh get whatever's coming sentence wise because that's the right thing um to do and that might give me a bit of peace she seems like actually she's revealed the secret and she's happy that's what's happening <coughs> she's like actually i deserve that i deserve the punishment and i agree with everything whatever the sentence why is gonna happen she seems really like she was waiting for it you know to some degree it seems like she's relieved she's okay with what happened i don't mean the parents but in the whole situation that the police actually came and find out about the whole situation she seems like like yes finally I think if she could take the time back, she wouldn't do that again. And I'm not trying to defend her or something, but it's, it just seems from this, this situation, from this video, like, yes, finally, I, I, like, I, I couldn't do that anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure if you got the same, same feeling from this video, but that's how it looks like for me. Um, also in the handbag as well, there's, um, it, and again, because you're probably going to need to know about it, there's a card in there, um, card mm -hmm. one money. Um, and um, that's a bank card where um, there's um, a lot of transactions that have taken place over the last few years. What? Uh, from money that pertains to my parents. So as I said, she's really, really, she's really cooperative, right? She's saying like, yeah, also there's a handbag. In the handbag there is a card that I've been using for the last four years, which actually money wasn't mine. It was like my parents' money, but I've been using it. Because you ask if, you, if there is something you're supposed to be aware of on the property, that's why I'm telling you, because you're gonna find it anyway. It's like, she's trying to, there's no gray area, like black or white. I killed my parents, but now I wanna clean everything. Like, I give them everything. Um, against the wall, opposite the shelves. So there are two long white shelves, so opposite um, where that wall is. That's where uh, the knife is. So, um, next bit is very hard to talk about. That's probably the most grisly detail. Um, so, on the um, ground floor, underneath the stairs, um, there's a few, like, storage boxes. So she's actually giving the confession, the full confession, and she's saying exactly what's happened, and how that's happened, when, how, and why. I mean, actually, she didn't say why. That's, that's the weird thing. She didn't say why, and I couldn't find any information about that. Why would you do that? What is the motive of this murder now? I couldn't find it. If you know, let me know, please. Um, um, if you want me to shush after this, it's fine. Um, but every bit helps. You'll, you will find forensic bits helpful. There's a hammer. Uh, I know, I know, I know, but I'm, I'm trying to help so you find everything. It's in the middle underneath the stairs. It will still have blood on it. It's rusted, but it will still have blood traces on it. She's actually giving every single detail. She explained them where they can gonna find the weapon, weapon, weapon that she used to murder her parents. She said the hammer is here and there. There is still rusted, but it's still gonna have the blood stains on it. 
she even called it blood trace on a professional term i guess so they can identify that's her mother blood man this this the whole his situation just messed up my head and then it, there's also a knife actually i used to kill my mother and she's like every little help it's like the tesco slogan she sounds like um she's trying to help herself now dig her dig herself out of it somehow i don't know what's what's her plan in here so that was the the whole video we've got for from virginia macalau obviously the the whole murder was cruel but it's very weird video when you're watching it what 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 was the motive on this murder is that was the money or she got like she hated her parents obviously the sentence is fair i i get i'm <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it's not, not my point to judge. A situation like that shouldn't happen. It's very sad for her parents, obviously, not for her, because she, she definitely deserved what she had. Very cruel, very sad story. Hopefully I explained as, as clear as possible the whole story of it. You get the whole point of view and my point of view on that situation. Yeah, so yeah, I will see you on the next video. And for today, it's... Uh, Goodbye and stay safe out there, please.